Oh my God. He has that shirt on again. What the, oh, this is the third video in that shirt. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just be trying to have fun with y'all, man. What's going on? It's your boy, that guy named Jay, checking in, checking in, man. We are still getting loaded in Munger, Michigan. It's probably been 30 minutes since the video I did two days ago. <laughs> Funny how that works, right? <laughs> That is hilarious. Anyways, um, so I wanted to give bring something to y'all attention, man. Uh, while I was going through my uh, <laughs> damn near mental breakdown last week, uh, I took the time to uh, look into some, or over the course of the week, I have been looking into some other options as far as employment. Oh my God, his jaw popped. Yeah, so uh, we, we're over that, all right? I'm the flip-flop, yeah, whatever. So, um, I actually had two positions outside of Swift that I was looking at, okay? One, I'm not gonna go into specific detail. Um, the other, well, neither one is really no specific detail because it was just general situation. Um, basically, one would be uh, with another fleet owner and um, I think he has like he's a little bit bigger Paul's um, he has like 25 trucks um, which you know I, I guess you do I mean that's, I, don't, I think that's a that's a big, pretty big fleet <laughs> I ain't gonna lie he got 25 trucks he has a little seems like a more structured situation than what I'm dealing with now um, and he would pay me salary, you know what I'm saying, a set salary on a weekly basis, um, home for a week after, I think it was three weeks, um, something to that effect, and uh, a newer truck, definitely a newer truck than the one that I'm in. Um, and, you know, it just seems like this is a fleet owner who, just by the way, talking with him and, and just him giving me the rundown of everything, seems way more organized than this situation you know what i'm saying um that's not to speak to the down on this but you know i've been i've been giving you guys the rundown of how this situation has been going so you make your own judgment on what you feel about this particular company um but you know that that's one situation um i'm not gonna go into much more detail about that um but it just seems like you can notice the difference you know what i'm saying um Maybe it's, you know, because I'm so mad. I was so mad at this situation and getting used to this situation. And another thing is he guaranteed me that I wouldn't sit. You know what I'm saying? He was telling me that it's more short loads than anything. Um, so instead of sitting around and waiting on that 1,000-plus mile load, um, or 2,000-plus mile load like I find myself doing here, um, it's a bunch of three, 400 miles, three, 400 miles, 500 miles, which I don't mind doing that at all because, I mean, I run. You know what I'm saying? I'm a runner. I don't mind working hard. Um, I, I like to think that I have good work ethic, you know what I'm saying? Um, the other situation was oil field. Oil field. I don't know why I got that. I'm, uh, my, my lips keep getting chapped because I'm, I'm, I guess I need to drink more water. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, the oil field. I reached out to my man, Chasing Andrew Jackson, and uh, he actually put me in a group chat that, um, with some other oil field drivers <clears throat> and uh, he put me he actually gave me a couple companies i think like two to look into but he did tell me that this is the quote-unquote slow time and that it don't really pick back up until february but even with it being slow time the checks that i were being shown man them guys over there making anywhere from 16 to 2700 dollars a week you know what i'm saying um working 14 hour shifts and uh, i think they, they are they're the same situation out for three weeks home for a week but if you want to stay out longer you can i believe he told me he does about two months out go home for 14 days which sounds like something i could i could do that sounds like something not bad at all um so you know i'm not saying i'm about to hop and jump and leave and skip out of town i'm just saying it's just nice to know you know there's always other options you know people try to they jo we joke you know back and forth about this flip-flop shit but at the end of the day this is the trucking industry man he's as long as you ain't killed nobody, as long as you ain't rolled your truck, as long as you ain't did nothing that looks crazy um, on your record. The craziest thing I have on my record is I hit a pole while I was in training. You know what I'm saying? So that was like, I had maybe 
I had no driving experience at the time. I literally, it was like I, I left CRST school, went home for two weeks, went to Trans Am and orientation. We did a road test. I hit a pole in the road test. So I had never drove, you know what I'm saying, outside of on the range in the road test of CRST. But that's on my record from 2016. So that's almost, uh, shit, three years old now. So besides that, I think I got uh, running a way station and PA. Uh, which it was one of those, you know, them situations in PA where they turn a rest area into a way station. Yeah, I ran that shit because I didn't understand it. Um, what else? In the last three years, it was 2018. So that's pretty much it. I don't really have too many offenses. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? You know, I would have gotten some if I'd have stayed local because I was out there doing some wild shit in that Grand Marquis I had. Ooh, we might have got pulled over some of them nights. Ooh, I might not be a truck driver right now. But anyways, that's no here nor there. Um, so yeah, man, it's just, you know, nice to know that other situations are out there at the end of the day. You know, any situation that you're dealing with, you always got to have a plan B, plan C, and plan D. People up here acting like, oh, stay with this company forever. Oh, I'm going to work for this company for 20 years. Well, you know, hey, if that's what you want to do, but for someone who knows that there's a better situation out there, or even a situation that's better fit for them, if they choose to accept it, then... I think my only thing, the biggest thing for me, is just not me not giving enough time to the places that I have been with to make an accurate assessment whether or not this situation isn't the best situation versus the next situation. You know what I'm saying? So with my flip floppiness, it has been so quick, quickly done. You know what I'm saying? If I had, you know, five companies in five years, it wouldn't look as bad as five companies in three years. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I understand what it looks like, but I still understand the industry that I'm in and I understand what my record is. You know what I'm saying? The only companies that have ever turned me down for my job copy is the, the LTLs. You know what I'm saying? They were like, we need to see a little bit more consistency. That's it. The local gigs. That's it. But I don't want to be local anymore, so at least not right now. So I'm not worried about that. By the time I go back local and I'm home every night, God willing, I'll own a truck. You know what I'm saying? Or leasing or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is, man. Those are some situations that have been brought to my attention. I'm definitely going to keep them on the back burner. And um, it's just nice to know. They just hung at me. Oh, I thought they hung at me. But it's just nice to know, you know what I'm saying? Nice to know that it's always a fallback. Always a fallback, you know what I'm saying? I always stay. <laughs> One thing about me, say what you want, I stay with a job. <laughs> Even before trucking. I stayed with a job, you know what I mean? Like, you no matter what it was, delivering pieces, uh, working in a warehouse, uh, I, I didn't did a little bit of everything. So that's one thing about me. I'm, I'm not going to go with no money. I'm just not even built like that. I know a lot of people who are um, back home. Um, I know family members who are, you know what I'm saying? That you, you couldn't give them a job if you <laughs> if you own the company you know what i'm saying they just don't want it you know some people are just built different some people just ain't built to go out there and, and be a go-getter and hustle and make it happen and i like to think that i'm one of them people i just got to get some some maturity with it and some and some consistency with it and it'll start to reflect in my life but you know i think i'm where i need to be i just got to be more consistent with being where i need to be you know what i mean so that's what it is, man. I just wanted to give y'all that bit of information, let y'all know what's going on, let you know that I always stay ready for anything that happens. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, that's what it is, man. As always, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. God, family trucking. I might change my shirt for the next video. I don't know. We're going to see. We'll figure it out. Go.